about to jump into the, the blackness. This is what stopped us in the middle of the night. Wow. Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. After a quick 30 minute fuel stop in Megisti, we keep heading towards Cyprus. Well, that was very successful. Yeah, it was. How did we do on fuel? <clears throat> well, that was exceptional. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we usually figured uh, three liters per hour. And we were closer to 1.75 liters per hour coming out. So yeah. we had some good wind. We had some really great sailing, especially overnight. The sailing was really good overnight. It was so. great. Yeah. In fact, it was like a really great way. It was our very first overnight sail. <laughs> it was beautiful. We've, we've motored overnight. Yeah. On transitions. We've just had one night. But this was our first full sails up, mm -hmm. truly sailing overnight. Yeah. And uh, we had great wind. Had to tack a couple of times, and so a little bit of everything. Yeah. Well, no storms, no big. No, thankfully. Yeah. yeah. For the first time, it was it was it was exactly what you want for the first time you do something. Yes. Good good wind, good strong wind, 16 to 18 knots. So we had a good strong wind. Yep. But it was right where we wanted it, and uh, yeah, it was good. Made yeah. made good time. Did great on the fuel. So. And at. Uh, 2.25 per liter is spending. Ooh. So we were so happy to see that we were Ooh. able to conserve fuel instead of burn so much yeah. because yikes, that's yeah, it was it was spending 90 yeah. euros to fill up 40 liters, 44, 44 45, liters, basically yeah, 45 liters. So, so. yeah, spendy. Yeah, yeah, spendy. But that's what you get when you buy fuel at the very last Greek island. Before you jump Wait. off to Cyprus. to Cyprus. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's remote out here for sure. Oh, so you're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So. so now we have a straight shot onto North Cyprus and Carpaz Gate. Yeah. So. 222 nautical miles later, we'll be home free. Yay. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Well, at least for the next couple months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. So Home's where you hang your hat, right? Yeah. Or your boat. Yeah. Home's where you park your boat. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we did our check-ins with our friends and family, and um, we also started up um, Starlink. So we've been able to do, keep updated on the weather, the radar, check the Cape report, all of that, so that we know what to expect over yeah. the next two days. Yeah. Because so. we'll be 50 nautical miles offshore, so there'll be no cell reception. No. Probably within the next, uh, I would say, six to eight hours, we'll be without cell reception. Yeah. But uh, we've got the Starlink set up and ready to rock. Yeah. She's uh, <clears throat> power-wise hard-lined in, so we pull her right off the batteries, and, yep. and it's great. So yeah. all we got to do is turn our Wi-Fi on, and we've got satellite uplink. For a quick check. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Great. Pretty slick. Yes. So, on we go. Yeah, buddy. Did you see the sunset? Oh, yeah. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to come across, but it is so silvery. The water is like metal right now. Full sails out. Motor sailing, but uh, it's great times. So I was in a helm and uh, all of a sudden we had extra chatter from our engine and we don't know what's going on. So we're gonna try and stick the GoPro in the water and see if we can see anything on the prop potentially that we may have picked up that could have caused the shatter. And of course it's raining and it's two o'clock in the morning. So that's not fun. With our underwater flashlight, our diving flashlight, 
and uh, we definitely saw maybe a bag or something on the prop. So, um, Cass had the idea to uh, just check to put it into reverse and see if we could reverse it off. Okay, so Cass is all kitted up and he is <sighs> about to jump into the, the blackness. Yeah, so what I've done just to help prep is um, we have a line right here that uh, he'll have. That'll be a hold. We are uh, not moving right now. We're basically 0.5 knots. We're <laughs> in really not a great spot, um, but we're making do. So we have some serious swell right now. Um, he'll have the flashlight with him and uh, a uh, underwater knife here that uh, he will utilize while he's down there to cut the seemingly a bag we think is maybe wrapped around the prop. So we'll see what we can get. Using the weight belt to help uh, with the buoyancy. Obviously with the salt water, it's extra floaty and uh, wearing the <laughs> neoprene full mill suits uh, definitely makes it even more floaty. So here's your, here's your safety line. what stopped us in the middle of the night. Wow. That is a really big, nasty bag. Yeah. She's all done now, though. Nicely done, babe. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was a bit stressful. <laughs> and that's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> oh. Goodness, yeah, so uh, we got the bag cleared out okay. We got the sails put back out. I'm back on my watch, and uh, hopefully Cass is gonna be able to get some sleep during his. He has about an hour left of uh, his watch. Probably just let him sleep as long as he can. <laughs> and uh, we'll keep the night going. for me ever looking around all around the ship there is not another piece of land another vessel any lights anything it's just the sea that's pretty crazy <laughs> it's gorgeous it's uh it's, it's it's a spectacular morning after a honestly a pretty rough night um yeah yeah that was that was a that was a rough night <laughs> so i'm sure there'll be lots of naps in our future today <laughs> and uh yeah making good progress it's beautiful out here
Chris is working on setting the sails for the night. Getting them all set up. Not much wind, so we're just playing to try and capture anything we can. Downwind sailing with two or three knots of wind right now. Just playing. <laughs> just playing with the sails. It's what we do when we got time. Why not? Exactly. Why not? Good time. Right here, he's actually uh, putting the preventer on that goes from the boom here down to the cleat. That prevents the boom from slamming across and doing an accidental jibe, which is not only hard on the boom, the sails, the sailboat, the sailors, the sailors. It's just hard on everything, and so we do everything we can to uh, make sure that if we had a random wind shift we wouldn't have that happen so we try and keep this preventer on as often as possible well our sails are a bit dirty but the mainsail as a patchwork quilt is working look at her look at her fly all those light spots right up there that's everything that we got patched so that whole edge was blown out. So now she's fixed and she's flying great. 68, you said? <sighs> hey, milestone number, I don't know, 11. <laughs> I know, crazy. We just broke 100 miles left. So we only have 100 miles left. Yeah, I guess I should say that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we just crossed over. Yes, yeah, so we just crossed yeah. over. The less than a hundred miles. <laughs> so we have less than a hundred miles left. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. That's a threshold. It's a big threshold. Double digits, baby. Yeah. So we'll be there tomorrow sometime. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Morning, early afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'd be really great. So uh, we'll see what the night brings, but yeah, we're hoping for a little bit of a little bit of wind, baby, tonight. Not a lot. Nine to mm -hmm. nine to twelve knots, something like that. Yeah but enough for this boat to uh, move pretty effectively. So yeah. we got all the sails up. And uh, so when she does come in, hopefully the next couple hours, yeah. we'll be set up and ready to rock. Yes, so we actually put up the, well, Cass did while I was asleep. He put up the main and um, the head sails so that they were prepared for the night sail. So right now we only have 2.8 knots of wind, which is not enough to support having both sails out. They just bluff. Yeah. And um, they're lazy enough, it's not causing damage to them. And so we've set it up so that when it does come in this evening, we aren't having to reset all our sails in the dark. We did that the other night. We managed it, but it's not ideal when we have this uh, situation that we can just preemptively set it up so you got to get your electrolytes in <laughs> tablet electrolytes added to water good stuff <laughs> it gets my pucker it does you know No bite? Dang it. Well, it's time to bring it in for night anyway, I suppose. Yeah, Darn. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> That's why we call it fishing, not catching. <laughs>
very visible. Just it's it's why we love night sailing. It's just it's it's <laughs> no words. We love it. We love it. So another crazy thing is um, the bioluminescence has been just really cool. So uh, on the front of the boat at night, you can sit right on the front and you can just see sparkles in the water. And, and it's not just a little bit, it's a lot of sparkles, like stars in the, in the ocean and in the sky. So it's a pretty cool experience. I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. It's a great way to uh, end the season to have such beauty surrounding us with um, this epic night sail. So it's been a good passage so far and um, we've been fortunate. We had the little snag and cast <laughs> was every man uh, and just jumped into the water last night without even thinking about I'd have been freaking out. He's my man and I'm lucky to have him. <laughs> Here on our crossing the last night and uh, we can now see the coastline of Cyprus pretty cool it's uh, 12 45 a.m. and I am on shift until 3 so here we go we're rounding the corner to the last part and uh, pretty excited to get there It'd be nice to uh, have the sunrise and be able to see this coastline. All we can see right now is lights, so it should be pretty interesting. Looking forward to it. That is Cyprus in the distance. Beautiful. We have about three hours left in our sail and we will be there. It's been amazing. We're trying to put the pole out. Well, not trying. We're putting the fishing line out, trying to uh, catch a fish. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we're more fortunate today. Time for a little breakfast. Yeah. To celebrate our arrival. Celebration breakfast. Yes. For Let's a see. successful passage. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Feels great. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And what a beautiful morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need my sunglasses. It's doesn't, bright. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Yeah. Great passage. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yep. So we're just, uh, we've got two hours to go and we're just jamming to some sailing tunes. Yeah and uh feeling pretty good yeah we've got the crosby stills and nash yeah southern cross <laughs> lots of good ones you know yeah classic stuff oh yeah we're classic <laughs> timely we're from the 1900s <laughs> classic we are <laughs> oh cheers okay Peace. yes <laughs> I was listening. It's sunny. I guess we 
We have arrived, yay! It feels so good to be in. And uh, so they were really great. I uh, radioed into them and uh, they came out and met us with a tender. Had us follow them in to the custom stock where we now sit and wait. We provided them our paperwork. We passed over our, <laughs> we handed over our passports, our captain's <laughs> license, our registration, our insurance, all of that uh, crew list, that kind of stuff. So, um, and so, yeah, now we wait. So now they have to go in and process all our paperwork and uh, they said, give them about an hour. So we get to just cool our jets and enjoy being here. Celebrate our passage, it was awesome. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. It was great. <laughs> Cheers. Huge thanks to our patrons for helping to make our adventure possible. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe. And don't forget to join us next week.